Welcome back. We are back in Hawaii. It is the Hawaii Star Ball 2022. I am here with the hostess, with the mostess. David, I just want to start by giving you the biggest hug Thank because you. I have been interviewing dancers, competitors, judges, officials all weekend long. And when I tell you the praise is longer than <laughs> than the sea is wide you are so so loved and you have created such an incredibly magical experience here in the spirit of aloha and i cannot wait for you to see all of these people just talking so how does that make you feel when you hear that when you see it i well the most important thing for me is everyone that's um coming here is coming from far distance. Yes. I mean, this year especially, it, it was a really special year because we've been off for two years. It's our third year back, so we're really excited. And um, to me, it's about just taking care of all the students and teachers that comes because I am a pro-am teacher, and I know how important it is to go to a competition and feel special and feel like, you know, you're, you're just not another a number. So right. with me, it's, I love to touch everyone. I love for everyone just to have a smile in their face and that is just everything. So for people to be enjoying themselves and for people to feel like I'm doing my job just makes me so happy. More, so yes, happy. so much more that, I mean, you're right. It's, we don't wanna be just another competitive number. The idea is that you come from the pro-am side and you understand what it means to be competing and dancing all day and wanting you know, to feel appreciated for that. And you do that and then some. You also create the schedule so beautifully. So we have time to go to the beach and enjoy the fact that we're in Hawaii. You know, I mean, I think that's really important for you to yes. see because you used to live here. Yes. Well, um, for me as well, as a pro, pro am teacher, I'm on a dance floor from morning to night. Yeah. I never leave the hotel. And for us with our schedule, we want them to come. We want them to dance, but we have a beautiful ocean I mean, right outside. We of the are. River. Look at this. Look at this view. It doesn't this, even feel real. Yeah. So, you know, the teachers that comes to me and says, God, David, this is the most perfect schedule. I danced this morning, I went out into the ocean, came back, and I'm here again okay. out on the dance floor. It's just pretty yeah. amazing. So I just want it to be more of an experience, you know, and just not, you know, dancing. Yes, we all love to dance, but we want to have fun too. Well, that's it. Yes. Exactly. That's why we're here. You have so many people, you said they come from so far away, a lot from the mainland, but so many different countries represented. Well, like year after year, I remember one year we did a, in the highlight video, represented all the countries, but they keep coming back for so many different reasons. Talk to me about who's, who, what countries are represented here? Well, of course, because we're very close to Japan and to China and to Hong Kong. Yeah. So we always have the beautiful J Japanese, you know, teachers. Exactly. Um, competing and their students but this year we've had so many different countries that's never been here before we've had Korea we have a couple an amateur couple from from Germany we have a professional Latin couple from Slovakia we have wow. couples from Australia so we just have all these um, countries there's a are, there's a couple that I interviewed from Canada as well Canada, yes, yes. Big kahunas yes. Big kahuna. he was yes. in the luau that was so much fun how does it feel I have to say I mean because I know how it feels for us to start the weekend with the luau uh, it, it feels like a no-brainer but you're very intentional and strategic about why you do that and how it's done with the show you bring people on stage we all get up and hula dance um, why do you think it's so important that we start the weekend that way especially in hawaii well because hawaii is it's hawaii and the culture here is just like so different than anywhere else in the world yeah. and a lot of people that are coming to compete in in, in hawaii has never been to Hawaii before. So they've never seen hula dancing. They've never seen Tahitian dancers. People are saying, what is this around my neck? And I say, it's a lei. They're like, why am I, why are we wearing like flowers around our neck? So they get, I mean, it's just. And the MC is amazing because he explains everything. He yes. explains and he teaches us the words. And it's almost like a cultural experience of like what you're about to, you know, go through in the, in the weekend to come 
of how, you know, why we're here and what we're doing. Yes, well, as, as you know, as a dancer, yeah. we, you know, for us to learn different styles of yeah. dancing excites us because so we do what we do and we do it each day in and out. Yeah. So when we see something different and, and we partake into it, it's just pretty amazing. So I just like for everyone just to experience the dance, the, the culture, the food, and that is yeah. the most amazing thing. The food here is just incredible. So just when people just say, you know, this is just so different. And I said, well, this is how I say it. It's a competition like no other. That's it. That's it. There's no, I mean, there's literally no other words for it. Today, um, it's Saturday. We're dressed to the nines. We're about to go out for the Saturday evening session. Huge show, dinner. We have uh, social dancing, which a lot of competitions don't have anymore either. I feel like we need to bring that back. You've kept it all through this time. You have a live orchestra with a fabulous singer. Um, and then today we had all the kids. I feel like you had more kids this year than you've had any other year. Ever, Talk to me about that. Ever, because it's a long, um, a long trip to get here. So we usually have a lot of kids, local kids, and this time we've had kids from Oregon. We have kids from Colorado, from LA. So we had such an amazing group of kids and I was just so blown away. So Solos, one of them is dancing with their mom. I mean, he's like dancing, he could be top teacher in the, in the youth division. I mean, it's just fabulous to see all of these amazing kids. Um, how did it feel for you? I just want to get a little bit, let's go back and then we're going to go forward. Because as much as we're all kind of moving forward, you know, we want to be positive. We were gone for two years. You were the only competition, I believe, that did not run for two years because most of them run. only skipped one. Yes. That was because of the state of Hawaii. Hawaii right, being the strictest. Correct, yeah. correct. How um, were you able to keep that spirit going and be like, listen, when we come back, it's going to be the best and we're going to do this. And how did, you know, and, and all these ideas you had, because I know you, you're always thinking of all these fun ideas. How can we make it better? Um, just, you know, we're back now. How does it feel? It feels really, really good. Um, for me, there was a lot of um, reservations because people for two years in a row, had their plane tickets, had their hotels, had their entries in. How many people told us they were like, David, this is the second year I booked my flights. Even if you don't have it, I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> yes, and you know, it was pretty amazing. We had some schools that, it, they were really big schools. And, yeah. and we're like, we, we're going to refund you the full amount. They're like, please keep my check. And this is like really awesome. big checks because we need to have Hawaii. Yeah. And I just, I couldn't have it. It's like the state wouldn't allow me to have it. So we had to refund the money and they didn't want it to take the money back because oh they were like, God. please, David, you gotta have the Hawaii Star Ball. Yeah. So this year, finally, now people are seeing that we're running it. And I just have to say, this year was pretty special, but next year is gonna be our 30th anniversary. <laughs> we are gonna go all out. We're gonna go all out. We already have, we're already thinking about doing some inner island um, trips to where we go to Maui or to the oh, big island and just that. go like a day trip you you leave it's like a 20 minute flight right. so it's like we can spend the day there have lunch oh, come back so we have so many different ideas that we're gonna have but please stay tuned it's gonna be our biggest year yet well, there you go you heard it here first you guys 30th anniversary we are so happy to be back the energy here right now is just absolutely electric everyone is so just it's so funny because we're all excited but because we're in hawaii we're all kind of peaceful and calm oh. you know there's this like middle ground and with next year being the 30th anniversary i mean if you're not here i don't know where you are you have to be here David, I want you to just kind of wrap this up for me and just share um, what it means for you to be able to host not only in a place where you lived in Hawaii, but you're now hosting the California Star Ball in your hometown of Santa Barbara. And I, I just, when you talk about it, I just feel I cannot wait for this event. I know so many people cannot wait because of they've, we've never had a competition in Santa Barbara before. I want to know what that feels like. Well, this has been my ultimate dream to have a competition in my hometown. I used to live here 30 years ago. I moved away to Santa Barbara, California, and that has been my home. 
and it's just really, really hard because there's so many competitions all over the United States, all over the world, three to four competitions a week. So what I'm trying to do is have destination competitions where you, yes, you can come dance, but at least you can have something to do after or before. So that's why we're doing all these packages. But this is gonna be our 61st year for the actual California Star Ball, but this is gonna be my first year organizing it. So I am just really excited to show everybody my home. So please join us Thanksgiving weekend. Please join us Thanksgiving weekend. And also next year, September 2023 for our 30th anniversary. Absolutely. Two competitions, the Star Balls, you have Hawaii Star Ball and California Star Ball, both on the beachfront. Both on the I beach mean, front. who can say that, David? <laughs> I know. I know. I, I just feel really, really blessed that I am going to have those two um, um, destination competitions. And I just, I just can't wait to show everyone what Santa Barbara is all about. That's it. You heard it, guys. We're going to put all the dates so you know exactly when when you need to be where you need to be and David I just want to thank you so much oh, you're, you are so welcome thank you so much for being here oh my gosh thank you it so is, much for being here it is a pleasure you make everybody feel so special and we just want to be a part of that experience with you and thank you for just all that you do well thank you and I think I'm just I, I'm doing my job that's I'm it. doing my job that's it yes. it doesn't feel like work when you're having this much fun <laughs> that's right that's right that's right that's right I'm having a wonderful time wonderful time amazing Thank you guys so much for being here. Hawaii Star Ball 2022. We will see you next year at the 30th anniversary. But tonight, we're going to party and wrap yes. this up. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha.